Here we have a 2017 Audi S3 TFSI Quattro Black Edition. Now this vehicle comes with 19 inch black alloy wheels, all in excellent condition just there. We also have the Panther black crystal exterior paintwork, we have the LED daytime running headlights, the S3 badging just on the front grille there. Round to the passenger side, you'll find the second alloy wheel, again in excellent condition, we have the Quattro along the side, Colour-coded door handles and door mirrors, black trim around the windows with the privacy glass for the rear passengers. Up top you find the shark fin antennae, we also have the rear spoiler lip as well, just there. Taking a closer look now at the third alloy wheel, as you can see, excellent condition. Round to the rear you find the rear parking sensors with an audible warning. We also have the quad tip exhaust as well, just down there, sounding incredible. More S3 badging just there. If we take a look at the boot, simple release just there. As you can see, there's a, quite a good amount of space in there. Let's just close that back up though. Coming back around to the driver's side now, you'll find that this vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. So if we take a look at the fourth and final alloy wheel, as you can see, excellent condition. Inside, you'll find the full black leather interior. We have the fixed ISO points at the rear. We also have the vents for the rear passengers and a 12 volt connectivity as well. Storage nets behind the front seats. We have the electric windows on the doors and the premium Bang Alasfenet sound system just there as well. Taking a look at the front, you'll find the same full leather interior. However, both these front seats are heated. And there is a look at them. We have the S just there as well. Again on the doors, we have the electric windows with trial out for each side, electric heated mirrors and the premium Bang Alasfen sound system. We have the auto lights just there, the auto wipers as well. Flat bottomed mud functional steering wheel with paddle shifters on either sides. So if we take a seat inside, you'll find the speed limiter and cruise control are just down there. If we put our foot on the brake and turn the key, the vehicle will start up for us. You'll find that will be free from any warning lights on the digital dashboard. The only one being for fuel just there. So we can switch between different views using this side of the steering wheel. So as you can see we have a few options to flick through. We can also have a full screen just like so or just half screen. For the triangle as you can see the only warning is for the fuel so nothing to worry about. We have the media and the radio just here, as you can see full screen or half screen, phone connectivity and we also have the sat nav as well, put that into a full screen just there. Moving over into the centre console you find the main infotainment screen, if that screen is flickering that is just the camera, it's not like that in reality. So on the main infotainment screen you'll find the likes of the sat nav, we also have the phone connectivity just there, apologies if the screen is flickering, it's just the camera, it's not like that in reality. We also have the radio, which is where you find the FM, DAB and AM radio. Let's just turn that down now. We also have a range of media as well, such as the Bluetooth audio, the auxiliary, we have the USB and the SD card slot, as well as the CD player as well. Going onto the main menu, you find all these options just here, where you can adjust the sound for the car. We also have the different drive modes, the efficiency, comfort, auto, dynamic and the individual drive mode as well. Going back onto the menu, if we go down onto the Audi smartphone, this is where you find the Apple CarPlay Android Auto. Putting the car into reverse, you may have just heard the beep for the parking sensors. Further down you'll find the vents, we also have the auto start start button, tra traction control button. If you press this button just here, the screen will fold down just like so. We have the climate control with the heated seats on either side, ice cold air conditioning as well, all working just as it should do. 12 volt connectivity, storage space and two cup holders just inside of there. Gear stick just here, we have all of the shortcuts for the infotainment screen, electric handbrake, nice leather armrest as well just here which can be opened up for more storage. And inside of there you find a wireless phone charging, we also have the auxiliary and the two USB ports as well. But that's all I'm going to show you guys today, if you want to find out more please check out the website. This vehicle comes with a fresh service, fresh MOT. HPI clear, competitive finance deals and free nationwide next day delivery. Thank you for watching.
going to do a test drive of this 2017 Audi S3 Sportback. Now the purpose of this video test drive today is to show the Mirage is exactly how you would expect it to. As you can see, I'm not going to fight with stern to keep it in a straight line, it's going straight and straight, not veering off to your left or to the right hand side. Now we do have a multi-function steering wheel paddle shift on the rear, which did that into manual mode. Now just below that, we do have your cruise control stop. Now to activate the cruise control, simply press the button on your that says set, and push it up and down on the cruise control stop to go for the speed. Push up base slightly, or just by one, and push up till for a bit of a click, and I'll just sit near to five miles an hour. And around the map and taking a left, as you would if you're test driving this vehicle today. Now we do have the virtual cockpit fitted to this vehicle, which is a very, very cool feature to have. We can have your satellite navigation screen and also lots of other bits of information on the screen there as well. We have very comfortable full leather seats throughout this vehicle. The two front seats are also heated, so for those cold winter mornings, rain is make all the difference. Now we do have the screen in the centre where you can see satellite navigation. You do have your Bluetooth media, Bluetooth audio, connectivity, DAB radio. We also have lots of other settings just there as well, such as Audi Smartphone Connect, just there, and also you have your Audi Connect. Now you do get your sensors on this vehicle when you're reversing. You do have your integrated premium bank and awesome sound system, which does sound absolutely incredible. We also have the sports exhaust on this vehicle, so it is the S3, so you do have the sports exhaust. So you have the quad exit, it does sound absolutely incredible, especially with when it changes through the gears, it has those DSG noises. Dual zone climate control with ice cold aircon, works exactly how you expect it to. Now, if you're test driving this vehicle today, you'll be listening out for anyone to knock small banks. And if you're listening out during this test drive video, if there hasn't been any, which was the when buying a used car. So, right now, I'm going to see the Dodge State, going to take a right, going to perform a major stop, up straight into reverse, and just share that the brakes work exactly how you'd expect them to. And you see pop up on the centre screen the sensors. So, I'm going to for a car to pass, and I'll pull in just now. And I'll do the emergency stop in three, two, one. Hard on the brakes, straight into reverse. You can hear the sensors activating just there. And then obviously when you get closer to something behind you, it goes beep, 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 beep. Just speeds up the beeps. Back into drive again, no issues whatsoever. Now, if, I, if you haven't answered all of your questions and inquiries during the session of a more video, please feel free to get in contact with the sales team where they can answer your questions and also run through some inquiries with you. But that's it for me in a small video. Mini test shot video from you soon. Cheers.